Good day, folks. Today, we're doing a factory software restore on the Dell Dimension E521. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This isn't exactly a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform a factory restore on one of these computers, particularly the one that runs Windows Vista in my case. So, I would definitely recommend if you have a Windows XP model to look up its respective recovery process as this one is completely different than that one because there were two different versions of the E521. One that came out with Windows XP and one that was later updated with Vista as you can see here. So this is a very unusual way of doing it uh, at least back in the day. You normally have like uh, software disks or you'd have a key combination you would press on startup. The way that Dell did it in this implementation is a bit interesting. How we access it is through the Windows Vista Repair Your Computer prompt. And how you access that is by spamming F8 on startup. Now, the only way that you'll access this, in this case, on Windows Vista RTM or on an OEM copy is if you have the recovery partition still intact. I know later versions of Windows Vista would actually allow you to access the Repair Your Computer prompt without the necessary recovery partition in place or if you had like a clean install or whatever but these early ones usually did not and so you had to have the OEM partition in order to be able to do that and yes I know the message here for system battery voltage is low is going to come up a couple times because I have yet to go and purchase a CMOS battery for this I will be doing that today though probably if I get off my lazy butt and do it so anyways so we need to press F1 here and then immediately spam F8 There we go. Now we get into this repair your computer screen and we'll let it start up. And I will come back once we've reached the repair your computer uh, program, basically. All right, so as you can see, we're at the system recovery menu here. Now we have a bunch of different options that are provided by Windows. Obviously, startup repair, system restore, Windows complete PC restore. These are all options that have been carried through into modern day windows so okay whatever but the one we're looking for is this one down here labeled dell factory image restore restore your system software to factory condition we're going to run this welcome to dell factory image restore this utility will restore your system software to the state it was in when it left the factory in order to return the system to the factory state all personal files will be overwritten which is fine obviously you can see this is copyright 2006 because this was intentionally meant for Windows Vista. Warning, this utility will reformat your operating system hard drive partition prior to restoring the factory image. This means data on that partition will be deleted and cannot be recovered. To confirm this action, please check the box below and press the next button. Yes, we do want to reformat the hard drive and restore the system software to factory condition. And here we go. The utility is now reformatting your hard drive and restoring the factory image. This process may take over five minutes to complete. And obviously, I hope it doesn't take over five minutes to format a hard drive. But you never know with mechanical hard drives, they tend to be as finicky as they go. But who's to say, um, <laughs> who's to say we'll actually have good... Oh, okay. There we go. Restoring factory image. That looks better. Okay. So I will come back once this finishes because this is going to be a very uneventful setup process. As you can see, it's just going to be a uh, back and forth progress bar here. So I will come back once this finishes. All right, sorry about the background noise, but the factory image has been successfully restored. Your operating system and factory installed applications have now been restored to the state they were in when they left the factory. You will need to reinstall any applications that you've added since you received the system. Press the finish button below to reboot. And it says it twice because it apparently has some form of amnesia and it doesn't remember that. Sounds good to me. So we'll let it restart and we'll see how the out-of-box experience looks like. I don't think I've ever actually done this before, at least not recently, so I honestly forget the process of how these out-of-box experiences on Vista actually work. So I'll probably be a little bit noobish here, so forgive me. All right, and here we are. We got the out-of-box experience with a nice Dell logo. This is obviously RTM because Windows has a copyright of 2006. 
I believe later versions of Windows Vista had this changed to 2007, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong on that. So anyways, English, United States, that's fine. Obviously, there is no service pack monikers anywhere in this license agreement, so uh, this is RTM Windows Vista. Again, that's another pointer. I'm going to throw my name on it, because why not? Uh, sure, we'll throw a password on it, because why not? Unlike Windows Vista on a clean install, the password hint is optional, which is interesting. They make you do this in the clean install. They make it required, but anyway. I'll put it down anyway, just in case I forget. And I'll use chess, because why not? I'm going to call this the classic. Uh, I forget what the name was, but anyways. Uh, we'll call it the Detention E521, just because we want to roll back in some memories. And I'm going to set a Dell wallpaper. We'll set the... You know what, actually, I like this one more. So we're going to set that one there. Uh, we're going to do Ask Me Later, because it's not on the network at the moment. Uh, good it does have the date and time but it's 12 hours off we'll fix that real quick <laughs> there we go all right now we can get into it all right the uh windows experience index i always forget about that when it comes to windows vista getting it done just oh well it was more fun until it blinked the screen out there you go getting it done just got more fun time is precious more than ever needed blah, 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 blah. i can't even read that because it's already gone Connect and communicate like never before. It's now safer and easier to connect with the people who matter most. Whether you choose voice, video, photos, or text, you've got an amazing array of options with Windows Vista. Probably most of which, except for the email client and web browsers, actually don't work anymore. <laughs> Turn everyday moments into lifetime memories. With simplified tools for uploading, cropping, cutting, and creating photos, Windows Vista makes it easier and more enjoyable to share your favorite memories. Because it had the hardware accelerated... Windows Movie Maker 6, which was actually not too shabby, but it was very heavily derivative of the XP version. With Windows Vista, you've got the hottest tiles, the latest features, the most vivid 3D graphics, and so many ways to connect you more safely with the worldwide gaming community. I was actually tempted to try a game that only runs on, like, Windows XP, Vista, and 7 uh, due to its integration with the games library. I'll have to try that in a separate video. With Windows Vista, you can quickly find programs, files, and email, and it's easier to search the internet. I remember this. This was a meme because of, I think it was OS X uh, Leopard, actually. I remember that, Bertrand Soleil. I'm pretty sure everybody knows exactly what I'm talking about when I mention that guy's name. Now, in terms of UI, they did a major innovation. Instead of having the menu on the top right, they put it <laughs> on the bottom left. Spend less time fixing problems and enjoy a faster, more reliable online experience with Windows Vista. It should loop back around. Yep, there's that time is precious. More than ever, you need a system that is simple, easy, natural, and enjoyable so you can get things done and focus on what matters most in your life message. Also, I really don't like that this is in a weird resolution and color depth, but I think it's because this computer out of the box would have used the integrated NVIDIA GeForce 6150 graphics on the motherboard, not the ATI Radeon HD 2600 Pro graphics card that's currently in the system. So that probably explains that. And I don't have my speakers plugged in, so we can't hear the lovely Windows Vista orb, but you're not missing much. It's literally the exact same sound as Windows 7, so that's probably just fine there. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my password, and we'll log this in. Obviously, it's just gonna do the preparing your desktop stuff, so you're not missing much. All right, jump cut, I have plugged in the speakers, so at least we'll have some kind of sound if there is any kind of out-of-box experience stuff that we need to know about, which I don't really think so, but what do I know, right? I mean, maybe there's some Dell support thing that is going to flash up on the screen that'll scare the crap out of me. I don't know. Probably not. This is the Vista version of Dell's uh, Windows install, so I don't, I don't think so. And here we are at the desktop. Probably in like 1024 by 768 resolution if I had to take a guess. Oh god, McAfee. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh, we got a lot of uh, things popping up on the screen. <laughs> oh boy. So, um, let's move the Windows one out of the way here because we don't really care about that. 
Getting started with your Dell computer. To help you get started using your new computer, we recommend you take a few minutes to complete these setup steps. So you need to set up security, get on the internet, gadgets and sidebar, product support and documentation, and transfer your data. Interesting. I wonder what this would have in it if we press get started. A trial subscription of McAfee Security Center is installed in your computer. Activating the software before you get on the internet will help protect your computer from viruses and spyware. Registration will automatically be completed once you have connected to the internet. I will do that later because we're not doing that. Your computer comes with free trials from internet service providers. To activate a trial, select it from the list below and cl uh, click connect to the internet. Interesting. So you get a six-month trial of Earthlink and you have a six-month trial of AOL. And I also noticed the Google desktop popped up in the background, so that's a nice meme. We're going to select connect to an existing network or ISP because I will be using a USB Wi-Fi adapter later. Your computer comes with interactive gadgets that are organized in a sidebar on the right side of your screen as shown here. Well, it's also shown here because it just happened to pop up. <laughs> gadgets are many applications with a variety of possible uses. They can be calculators, games, sticky notes. Oh, hey, I called that one. How about that? <laughs> wow. It didn't play the, the sound effect, but it sure did uh, load the animation, that's for sure. <laughs> wow, okay then. You can minimize or close the sidebar anytime to remove gadgets from your desktop, and you can also customize your sidebar by adding and removing gadgets. Well, presumably you wouldn't be using the Google uh, desktop version, you'd be using the Windows sidebar, but what do I know, right? And also this is pretty interesting that they show a screenshot from a Longhorn build of all things because I don't think that clock and some of these gadgets actually made it into the final release, especially not that mail icon. I don't think that was inside of Vista by default. So definitely a little bit of a throwback there to the Longhorn days. Dell provides comprehensive product support and documentation to help you get the most out of your new computer. To access this information, click on the links below. So that's just pointing you to this icon on the desktop over there. Microsoft Windows Vista can help you transfer your music, photos, email, and settings from your previous computer. There are several ways to transfer data depending on the capabilities of your old computer. This may be a time-consuming process depending on the method of transfer and how much data you plan to transfer, which I'm not going to do because I don't really care too much. So here we are at the desktop. So just to verify real quick, we'll go into the computer properties. As you can see, this is Windows Vista Home Premium. Actually, the Dell logo came back, so that's cool. Because before I restored, this was not there. So somebody must have removed it or something, even though the original Windows install was on the hard drive, which was a little bit bizarre, I guess you could say. But as you can see, Dimension E521. This is uh, Athlon 64X2 Dual Core 3600 Plus at 1.9 gigahertz with 2 gigs of RAM. This machine probably shipped new with 1 gig of RAM from the factory, even if it had Windows Vista Home Premium pre-installed, I can't imagine that it would have came with two gigs when it was new. It was a later upgrade, probably from the previous owner and uh, all that fun stuff. And obviously there is no display driver, I don't think. Nope, no display driver. So I will have to install that off of the camera. But we should be able to increase the resolution to at least get a little bit of a better look. And it's in the wrong aspect ratio, but it will do. I'll fix it later. Uh, this is DVI, so I don't have to do an auto, which is actually quite nice. So for now, we're going to close out of the Google desktop because I'm going to uninstall. Oops, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, can I close out of this? Yes, I can. Okay, do not start when the computer starts up. Okay, perfect. So let's see what comes on the computer when you get it out of the box from Dell. So you, you get Adobe Reader 7. You get PowerPoint Viewer 2003. I believe you get Works 9.0. You get a program update section. All the Windows things here. Uh, what's under the Dell thing? So you get some offers, launchers, uh, system customization wizard. What's that? Oh, it's just that again. Okay, that makes sense then. Um, that's all that's in that folder. There's a Dell support folder. So this was that Dell support thing that flashed up on the screen just a couple minutes ago. So that's what this pertains to. Uh, let's see, that's a Windows folder. There's all the Vista games because this is home premium. There's that McLaffey Security Center, as we like to jokingly call it. Uh, we can go ahead and open up Microsoft Works. So let's open up the task launcher here. As you can see, Microsoft Works. Um, product identification over. I will register later. Uh, sure, add a shortcut to the desktop. Why not? And here we are in Works. So we should be able to go up to this question mark, hit about. 
Actually, I was wrong. This is Works 8.5. So I was very close. I'm used to the Works 9 interface on these Vista machines and very, very late XP machines. Uh, just because I know Works 9.0 is on my eMachines net top. So uh, that's how I get the... I get the idea of it being Works 9 just based on that icon there. And then there's Roxio Creator DE. Dell included some of these copies of software on their machines, particularly the Inspiron 1526 that I used to own. I remember having that pre-installed on the hard drive. Uh, that's just net waiting for the modem. And a modem diagnostic tool, again, for the modem, because this would have shipped brand new with a modem from Dell in 2007. So I suppose we'll take a look at the computer windows. You can see there's a... Uh, significant amount of disk space free. So this machine came brand new with a 250 gig hard drive. And I'm so glad that whoever bought this E521 actually gave it a 250 gig hard drive upgrade because that's actually really nice. You get a lot of hard drive space to play with. And on top of that, you have room for your recovery partition, which is just excellent. So very nice addition on part of the previous owner. So I suppose that's gonna wrap up this video i guess we'll wrap it up by opening up the windows sidebar because why not right might as well complete the windows vista experience here so if you like what you saw today we'll give it a thumbs up i appreciate that if you didn't like it so much well the thumb down the thumbs down button works as well if you want to see more content just like this one or perhaps more entertaining content down below there will be a red button that says subscribe you should probably click on it and you don't really have to but it'd be nice if you click the bell because then you get notified when i actually make uploads and with that having been said, thank you all for coming to watch. I will see you all in the next video.